we can finally start. We're back in Pokemon Scarlet with the Indigo Disc. I had to work my way back down here. Uh, cause, uh... Uh... <laughs> Twitch was here to see it. I forgot to put myself back down here the last time I tried to do Blissey Raid, so... I had to walk down. Had to make our way back. And... we I still haven't seen any of the new Pokemon... We did run into the new Terra type naturally because of story related. Uh, and yes, I do plan on making sure Kieran does not get another legendary because, to be honest, he hasn't had the best kind of soul in the past, like, a month or two that it's been. So I don't think Pokemon's gonna be that hyped to want to be with him. Oh my god, there's another one up there? There's one up there! Oh, the animation is still top-notch here. Do you guys mind if I grab this first? I didn't even see this as an option. Oh, it's a Flygon. Oh god. I thought I wasn't jumping. Oh no, it's not a Flygon, it's that Noibat thing. Whatever. Alright, guys. Let's go. Oh, wait! <laughs> the game is wanting me... Never mind. I know what the game wants. I actually have to go beat that one up. If I want to progress. Because that's how we opened up the area last time. I'm coming for you. I got it. Noivern. Yeah, Noivern. I really do like the idea of it having multiple Terra types, because then you don't have to rely so much on one move on your team when it comes to those wonderful Terra raids that are a piece of shit. Wow, I could have at least touched up my Pokemon while I was out and about. Didn't even do that. Uh, have ancient power. Well, congratulations. Oh. And I don't have to catch it, thankfully. Because I don't really want to do it anyway. Get out of here. Stop using... Roost. Stop it. Another awesome miss. Sucks to be you. Bye-bye, Noivern. Bye-bye. You know, it just feels like my webcam and stuff is too close to the edge when I have it like that. Hold up. Good job, Rowan. The crystal thing is gone now. Hey, if you expect me to remember any of their voices again, don't expect it. I don't remember a damn thing. I think that'll be good. I'm gonna stop being picky! And actually play the game. Alright guys, let's go. Let's continue a walking. That Pokemon's called Coridon, right? Boy, it can really jump. We're on a roll. Let's keep on moving. See, that's also kind of the funny thing is that Kieran is so upset about Something that, again, was not my decision. Something that I don't even know why we had to listen to stupid grandpapa. I wanted to tell him, and if this was a true RPG, I would have told him. I would have told him. I 
me down here. That feels like it's a little far for that to be considered the Pokemon I need. I mean, it seems like it's a little far, but I can still go try it. Unless I can see another crystal over here, but... Of course it's you. Yes, there is another one over here, so... Uh, you know what, though? Nah, I'll wait. Oh god, don't pull up the map. It's useless. It's useless, and that's not the run button in this game. Okay, we'll just go back. Would really suck if we ran out of fly right then. I did. There is an upper area here, right? Yeah. But there's another crystal up here. Okay. Alright, well, maybe it is that, uh, whatever the name of that Pokemon is, because I don't remember the name that it was given for its paradox form. I don't remember it. Okay, we're good. Alright. I guess it's you and me, bud. Oh, this might be, like, on the other side of it. What is your name again, bud boy Oh, Sandy Shocks. Got it. Anyway, you're really not very good against this. So we'll bring in Ogre Pump. Even though I feel like Sandy Shocks would have... Oh, maybe it's fighting in metal. Maybe. I don't know why I tarred. I shouldn't have tarred. The music sounded a little weird there. Absolute shame that is, buddy. Yeah, that was the Pokemon. That is nowhere near close enough, in my opinion, for that to have triggered that, but okay. Hey, Rowan! The path opened up! Yeah, I figured. It's a... Uh, uh, game. <laughs> At least Briar was nice enough to come back and tell me. Not that I've ever talked to any of them when I when we approach these crystals, but nice enough. Sorry, we have you doing all the work. We really appreciate it, Rowan. Now then, it appears the terrestrial energy around us is growing more dense the farther down we go. Come on, come. We've no time to lose. I thought she was going to say come on. 
tripping up the dialogue already. And I haven't played a dialogue heavy game since last Friday. Yeah, so some you need to do all the heavy lifting of finding Pokemon. I got caught on the glass there, the crystal. Mmm. Uh, you can e oh god, oh god. Great control. Fabulous control, in fact. Huh. Why we split up? <coughs> you handle looking around in the water. I don't want to get my clothes wet. thought there was going to be something else to that. Because of her standing so much in a different area. Nice, I need more revives after this last DLC. And I still ain't even done. I feel like at least at this point I did beat the bulk of the... battling, so that's nice. Hey man, what's up? How you doing? Wait. Oh, never mind. He started off a lot nicer than I expected. Way nicer. It's bright. You're gonna be useless. Yeah. He's gonna be useless, and in fact, he's going to, like, destroy you and you, so bring in. Oh, I shouldn't have brought an ogre pawn. I eat those. Yeah, okay, because I'm in here, I can terrestrialize as much as I want. That's what I remember. I do need to move Pokemon. I do need to move Pokemon around. I wanted to use Corn Leech game, but that's fine. Keep lagging. Can't even tell when my input's hitting up. Or am I gonna get a yell from the distance? Okay, Kiki, your turn to call over Rowan. Oh. M maybe she'd rather have you do it. Quit your blabbering, just don't. Just do it. Hey, the path opened up. We can keep going. Thanks, my man. Uh, okay, we need to switch our team up a little bit. Just so everybody's still getting levels. Anything else I can grab while I'm in this little part? No. On we go. At least there's no Pokemon in the water to make it more laggy than it already usually is. What's up? Well, Kiki, isn't there something you wanted to say to Rowan? No, not really. Just feels like we're all relying a bit too much on her is all. We should keep going. Well, I mean, not everybody has a po- God, he's so stubborn. <laughs> you two are simply dazzling as always. Just so you know, we were also fending up wild Pokemon while you were away. So me and my team are just about spent. Sinich has all I've got left, so if something happens, you'd better save me. Okay. How do you not have items? You always have items to give me during battles. Why do you have items for yourself? 
Okay, this way's already open. Useless bringing out Coridon. Sorry, buddy. A Terra Orb. I think it's reacting to something. Huh, you're right. Mine is too. I'm picking up a truly astounding level of terrestrial energy. It seems to be coming from in there. Are we finally at the finish line? The hidden treasure. Hey, where do you think you're going? Oh, I can't wait another second. The truth behind this Scarlet Book is so close now. What? Not you too? Those two sometimes. I swear. Uh, cool. It did save. So I'll try to remind me of that. That it did save. Just in case this ends up being the legendary. I mean, like, I'm, we're working toward the legendary no matter what. So it is what it is. But that's the last save is right before the tunnel. So it's a good one. Just in case if I need to bounce out because of me desperately trying to put it in a ball that it doesn't want to be in. <laughs> this better not be like the freaking uh, legendaries that I had to catch in Kitagami. I will lose my mind. What is this place? The vibes here are on a totally different level. The hidden treasure. Where is it? There, Kirin. Up ahead. There's something among those pillars. Oh. The stones? The hidden treasure? Give me a moment. I just need to check something. Don't cure in. If I can get the hidden treasure of Area Zero, I can finally beat Rowan. Kiki, you're still going on about that nonsense? Shut it, sis. Rowan has everything I've ever wanted. She's got strong Pokemon, she can go anywhere she wants, and she can be friends with anyone. I loved Ogre Pond since forever ago, but even Ogre Pond chose her over me. But Kiki, you did your best too. That is true. It could just tell the it could tell the vibes were off. Even you, sis! You were being all nasty toward her at first, but then, boom, you were like best friends in no time. I, well, I've got nothing. I worked so hard, and for what? I still lost in the end. This, this is all I have left now. Found it. This crystal is definitely what we're looking for. Go on, Kieran. Pull with everything you've got. Show us the hidden treasure of Area Zero. You shouldn't be so happy about that. Oh, I don't want to do that. Yeah, just keep tugging. It's sure working, buddy. There's no doubting it. This crystal must be Terrapagos. It's gonna come out and still sense the bad, bad vibes in here. It's so cute. It's so cute. Oh, no. Oh my god, he had it. He even threw a master ball at it. Fair's fair, you threw it, man. That was Terrapagos? You caught it, right? F finally. Very well done, Kieran. The fact that you brought along a Master Ball tells me you were well prepared for this. Now I can study Terrapagos whenever I want, but there's no time like the present. Think you could give us a little demonstration of Terrapagos' power right now? Well, you heard her, Rowan. I'm also itching to see what Terrapagos can do. Get ready so we can start. Okay. Oh, you know, everybody's healed again. That's fine. Fine, you weirdo. Are you ready? Yeah, sure. Alright, get into position. Get in position. I just can't do it. I can't read the dialogue today. I keep adding in words. Or changing words. 
I hope you brace yourself. This time, I'll definitely beat you, Rowan. Starting off with it? Okay. It is so tiny. Go, Terrapagos. Show Rowan what you're made of. It, that is a very cute looking Pokemon now. Okay, so it's it's one Pokemon and it's like the uh, big guys. I have no idea what typing you are, my guy. I don't think Rock Slide's gonna do anything. So this is the Hidden Treasure's true form. With this, I could win for sure. It's distorting type matchups. Okay. That's fine. Not great. Yeah. That's a problem. Sorry, in a battle like this, I want safe switches. Um, it has earth power, so doing that would not be good. And I wonder if it's going to change every time I come out. Or if it was only going to change once. Maybe it was only going to change once. Well, not great that you have a water boot. Leftovers! I do love how Ursaluna's kind of become my... Kind of become the ace. Terabagos's power should be far greater than this. Could it be we're missing something? Uh, maybe Terra Stylization? Because I feel like that's going to be the next move that's made. If I can get this off without dying. Nope, we're dead. I was hoping I could get it off, but that's okay. Yeah, I'm throwing him out again. How do you like that, buddy? Uh, I'm glad I'm faster than you. How can you get critical hits even at a time like this? What are you, the hero of this story? Uh, uh, plot armor. I bought the plot armor. You didn't? It was at the last Poké Center. Oh, he's just a little guy. It's just a little guy. Why? I thought if I just had Terrapagos, if I had the hidden treasure of Area Zero, it, it would make me stronger. I thought it'd let me beat Rowan. Kiki, that's enough. It's time to stop this. No, something's not right. Its terrestrial energy output is far too low. Not to mention the fact that it looks different from the illustration in the Scarlet Book. So, Terra Ghost isn't the hidden treasure of Area Zero? No, I'm sure it is. We must be missing something. A way to transform it into the treasure. Of course, Terrapagos is made of terrestrial energy. Karen, you must terrestrialize Terrapagos this instant. If my hunch is correct, Terrapagos will resonate with the energy from your Terra Orb. And the hidden treasure will finally reveal its true brilliance. 
Got it. Why nobody thought of doing that while we were in the fight is beyond me. Oh, it's gonna turn into everybody against the Pokemon. And my main one is not gonna be good against it. I knew it! The Scarlet Book was right! Terra Pagos in its fully awakened form! This is the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Yeah, now it's everybody versus him. Good job. All he got was another, like, turtle to sit on. Uh-oh. Or I can use Coridon, which would be nice. Things are getting out of hand, Kiki. You should return Terabagos to its ball. Okay. Come back, Terabagos. Huh? It won't go back inside. Why? Because you... Honestly, you just... He got, like, the lucky catch of uh, catching it off guard. And now it's like, hmm. Now it can be a bit cheesy. Yeah, my Pokemon is not the one I want. Fuck me. Its energy output is going haywire. We're all in serious danger if we can't bring it down. I'm sorry, kids, but please, you need to stop Terrapagos. Come on, Kiki, you need to do something too. We've got to get Terrapagos under control. No, this wasn't supposed to happen. This is all my fault. Why are we going so quick? <laughs> Please, I could only read so fast. Oh, God. Yep. Oh, sure, we get the lucky draw again. God, this has happened like it happened twice in two streams in a row. That's a lot. That's pretty lucky. Yeah, and Mega likes us. It's using a barrier to reduce damage. In that case, terrestrializing your Pokemon might help. Star Storm. That's very cute. Very good animation. Okay, so I can oh. I can switch Pokemon. And I might when it comes up to it. That did more damage, at least. Matcha gotcha? That's pretty funny. Oh, and it drains its energy, too. And burns? Ooh. That's a pretty nice move. Now's your chance. Use terrestrialized Pokemon to strike back. Uh-huh. Gonna risk it to change in. hit any harder than it did before. Yeah, critical hit on me, you so noble bitch. Oh no, my sin is just knocked out. This isn't good, it's just too strong. It's fine. It's fine. You've got a burn on it, which is super nice and lovely. Maybe this form doesn't, like, change like the other one did. And I'll be able to kind of brute force it. The only problem is, is that I don't know if that move has been special or not. Okay, better. 
This might also be a slightly easier fight than what I'm making it out to be right now. Ooh, so close to breaking the shield. Never mind, we broke it. So we did. What? It absorbed terrestrial energy? Yeah, I don't like that. Okay. Okay. It put up another barrier of such strength? Did it use the terrestrial energy it absorbed to do so? You need to get in there and battle Kiki. Rowan is doing all the work. It, it's no good. I'm useless. This isn't the time, buddy. I think. Like, a part of me wanted to believe that the energy it absorbed was water and changed its form, but I don't think it was. I think I'll wait to use that when I am terrorized. Oh, God. Any help would be great, guys. Any help would be great. I don't think we survived this one. Nope. Any help? Cool. I'm gonna go this one just because. Now, Rowan, terrestrialize your Pokemon so it shines once more. Yeah, so it can put up another stupid barrier and make my life hell. Sure. The Zen headbutt shouldn't hurt as much now. That might hurt a lot, though. Yep. It's not very effective, but it did its job. There's no point. One other person would be great. One other would be great. Wasting through Pokemon. I think really my only good one that I have here is Ogre Pond. And do I really want to risk uh, dying in one shot? Sure. And he avoided it anyway. My luck is gone. Another person would be great. But I ain't gonna get that. Ugh. It's been 
gonna be a really long, annoying fight. I should revive another Pokemon. Uh, trying to think of which one would end up tanking hits fairly well. Super effective now. I'm gonna die. I don't know why I did that. I'm gonna die. No, I think last time it didn't hit. It absorbed my stuff. Yeah, it absorbed. Did the shield. So I have time to heal. It absorbed her wrestle energy yet again? Surely it can't keep doing that over and over, though. Kiki, Rowan's in trouble. You need to help her. But I can't. I can't help anyone. I am sick of this kid. I'm sick of him. have somebody else. Yeah, I wish I knew what type. Doesn't give me any clues. Oh, okay. I'll help out, too. Honestly, better late than never, I guess. The two of you need to clean this whole mess up. I don't want to be here. It did change the typing to where it's not super effective to me anymore, which is nice. Sticky candy syrup! I really do wish it would give me some kind of clue as to what it changed to. Don't worry, at this point I'll get like one hit off every other turn. is getting both. Oh, his speed continues to fall even when he doesn't do the move? That's pretty nice. Low sweep didn't do shit. God, he has a whole team. Because <laughs> uh, that wasn't going to work for me. That wasn't going to work for me. Okay, so it's currently water right now. Why 
did it become super effective when I terrestalized earlier? Game. Okay, that was nice. That was nice. A full health! And it's gonna steal it again! <laughs> It looks like it can't absorb any more energy or put up another barrier. Time to attack. Time to end this, you two. You have my permission to go all out. Thank God. <sighs> and now he's just a little guy. Maybe I'll go inside a ball now. Uh, okay. I know I can count on you, Rowan. You got this. So, I can put it in any ball, you say? I hope I can. Because this is the ball I like to put them all in. This was technically like a raid. Woo! Got it! We got it. We got the little guy. It, is it over? Is everyone okay? We're fine, don't worry. Oh, thank goodness. What a relief. I let my obsession lead you all into a very dangerous situation. It's simply inexcusable. I'm so sorry, everyone. You should be. You're completely fixated on this terrestrial stuff. You've got to keep your obsessiveness in check. Yes, you're absolutely right. I, I messed up, too. I looked up to Rowan for so long. I wanted to be like her so badly. I didn't know what else to do. I guess I just don't have it in me to be like her after all. Finally. Finally, I can let it go. Uh, don't sell yourself short. Yeah. But, I just... Big cry, yep. You're, you're, you're shit. I swear, I've got such a silly younger brother. You finally let it go. Why are you crying? Oh, you two must have been so scared. But you all shone brilliantly just now. You were truly dazzling. Unless she's just screaming, because, like, screaming? Like, really. Just letting out a good scream is a very good way to let things out. And in the end, our Rowan even managed to catch Terabagos. So I think we can consider our little expedition into Area Zero good and finished. Time to head back to the Blueberry Academy. We don't need to cry the whole way, guys. We got a long way to go. A long way. Well, there we go. I think I finished the main line. Whew, finally home. I need to get in touch with Gita. No scratch that. I need a... Something first? Hey, Rowan? Look, I know I caused a lot of trouble for the League Club and everyone. I wanted to give everybody a proper apology. Including you, Rowan. So, I'm sorry. And, uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is... You done with your crazy eye business? I want to make things right. So do you think... We could start over from zero and be friends again? 
I've been calling you my friend this entire time. Hey! We're gonna leave you two behind if you don't hurry up. Yeah, I think that is where the main story's done. Which is fine by me. Because then that would make it a very easy, uh... I'm afraid of what that's going to be. That would make it a very easy, uh... Jesus. Um... I actually don't know what song it is. I just know I can't like fully trust it because of Ed Sheeran being at the end of the other one. Um. Yeah, this little DLC was very cute though. And I do love the new legendaries that came with it. Legendaries and mythicals. It was that those were probably mythicals that were difficult to catch. I don't know the difference. Oh, I didn't need to worry about catching the my lotic because I ended up trading that out. Um, yeah, that was much quicker. I had didn't really didn't have far to go at the end of the other one, but I just couldn't do it. And there's probably going to be something extra to do whenever I can, you know, get through this credit. Wish I could skip it. But we're stuck. I know it's not gonna be like I'm not gonna fight as fight against a bunch of terrapagoses, but I do still hate the fact that it wouldn't tell you like what it changed to or whatever. That seemed kind of ridiculous. And hello, purple people leader. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully your day is going well. And thank you for the posture check and hydrate. I mean, I'm, I'm stuck in the credits right now. Or I would skip it. Because I just want to get back into it so I can see what other little things I need to do. Or if I can just start uh, doing other things. I definitely would like to put Terra if I go on the team, though. Can I skip now that we're out of the other one? No. Sorry that there's no sound coming from the game for you guys right now. I just don't want to risk it being uh, copyrighted in a bad way since I don't know who did the end credits. Because I'm pretty sure it wasn't Game Freak. <laughs> I can definitely say the ending of that did not hit as much as the main storyline. Uh, story. That finale. That hit way harder than this by Toby Fox. This was by... Oh, the original is still Ed Sheeran's, but they had Toby Fox remix it. Good on you, Toby Fox. I haven't really heard anything from you since the last time I played or listened to... Uh, Undertale soundtrack. 
So yes, I'm kind of glad that I did mute it because as much as you guys would like to enjoy it here on uh, Twitch, I don't want it to be copyright claimed on the YouTube. Yay! Uh, here we go. Awesome pictures. We got a new one. Where everybody's happy again. Yay! What up? This is an announcement for the following student. Rowan from Naranha Academy. Miss Briar would like to see you in classroom 14. She has some important news to share with you regarding the terrestrial phenomenon. Thanks. I wonder where my Pokemon went, actually. And I'm gonna put away held item. Because I believe Terrapagos is probably water. Look at little guy. No, he's normal. He's normal typing. Okay. He could replace Ursa Luna. He does have a lot of moves like Ursa Luna, so I'll probably replace that. Sorry, Ursa Luna. I did love you while I had you. Uh, you are VIP though, because you did a lot. Oh yeah, can't I? I wonder if they have their own thing. Nope. Okay. Uh. And we are gonna have to. Get him working on it. So I actually want to give you back the mask. <coughs> Excuse me. Where's the mask? Gotta give it back to you. I'll keep you as my water guy, I guess. Ah, uh, no, maybe not. Eh, yeah, too late. Too late. It'll be fine. We'll be fine. Yay, my Pokedex is updated. Uh, wow. There's a lot of stuff happening. We'll check out where the other stuff is first. Uh, no, I didn't want to- Oh, I didn't want to do that wanted to walk. Hello! Bro. You have my thanks for all you have done to help the League Club and to help Kieran. Once you became champion, Kieran withdrew himself entirely from our ranking system. Though I consider this somewhat sad, it is not as if he and I can no longer meet. More than anything, I am glad he seems to be acting like his former self once more. Indeed, I have been swept up in joy to such an extent that I prepared a tremendous amount of flight-enabling supplement used in my trial. Please feed your Augeus an appropriate portion of it whenever you wish to fly. Okay. Thank you. Heck yeah. Yep. What? You want to fly right now? Please slow down. The supplement was never meant to be eaten in such large... Oh. Oh, okay. We'll be able to fly. There we go. I can fly now. It would seem your Agius has powered up somehow. He likes to eat. From the looks of it, I would guess that it has gained the power to fly whenever you wish it to. Well, I suppose this is an acceptable outcome. As it happens, there is a super hard course for my flying time trial. You may attempt it upon clearing the hard course. Feel free to do so when you are ready. Okay. I didn't read any of that, and I probably should have. Time for me to go. So long, Ben. I am excited that we can fly now, and I can't wait to see how glitchy that looks. Uh, 
clearly the lead room first. We could also finally upgrade a biome as well. Hi. There you are, Rowan. Just the person I was looking for. I heard the news. You're the new BB League champion, am I right? I'll admit it, I'm blown away. Inviting you to this academy was the best decision I've made recently. So, now that you've had some time to get comfortable here, how do you find Blueberry Academy? Are you having fun? Sure. Good, good. Just what I like to hear. Anyway, there's a small favor I'd like to ask of you, Rowan. You see, the whole academy's become so much more lively and energetic since you came here. And that got me thinking. Maybe we should have even more people from come visit from Paldea. Have them come as special coaches or so. You know a lot of people, right? You've got lots of friends and everything. I mean, like, teachers from our your school, gym leaders, that sort of thing. Oh, and any strong friends of yours are also welcome here. Give it to me. Spoken like a true champion. I knew you were the right person to ask. What do you mean? Am I getting the one thing that I thought I wouldn't get? You can use the club room computer to contact anyone you want to invite. Oh, but it'll cost BP. We'll need to pay for their trip and such. Here's some to get you started. I have a, a decent amount, my guy. I really do. Oh, yeah, that 200, man. Is so much compared to my 5,000. I think I'll arrange for the special coaches to stay in this club room and when they're not teaching. You should have a chat with them while they're here. Now then, I'll leave it to you. Enjoy. Oh, okay. So they're probably... I would think they'd only be here for one day. Using the PC in the League Club Room, you can invite your friends and acquaintances from the Paldea region to visit Blueberry Academy and special coaches who you can talk to and battle with. You can have a max of two visitors over at a time. Oh my god, you can. <laughs> I know my friend wouldn't uh, have said anything if she didn't hear about it correctly. I thought that since it hadn't appeared yet that it was some like a bad leak or something. I can have Larry. <laughs> just, just so everybody remembers. Larry's the favorite. Larry's the favorite. Anyway, we'll finally go see what Briar wants. Hello. Hey, Rowan. Glad to see you. You feeling rested and recovered after our big adventure down in the Underdepths? Yes. Oh, youth really is an enviable thing. I'm still feeling all wrung out despite having been back for a while now. But on to why I called you here. Since our return, I've been writing up everything we discovered on our expedition. Honestly, I've hardly slept. Maybe that's why you haven't recovered. You need your sleep. I obtained Gita's permission to turn it all into a book, but don't worry. I made sure to skip a few details and omit the names of those involved. So Viola, a proof copy of the book, freshly delivered from my publisher just for you. Thanks. A proof copy of the exploit. I'm sure it'll do great. I behaved recklessly in the under depths. I don't know what we would have done if it weren't for you. If you truly deserve a copy of this book, I just hope it's sufficient as an apology. It's not. Ah, oh, but there was something else I needed to check with you. Would you mind showing me your Terra orb, Rowan? Hmm, I thought as much. It's behaving just like Kieran's and Carmine's orbs. I think it might be because your orbs were directly exposed to the energy from Terra Pucos. Kieran and Carmine say that ever since the Underdepths, they've been able to terrestrialize their Pokemon without charging their Terra orbs. Wow. Wow. Actually, there's one more piece of news I should share with you related to these deepest, those deepest depths. You know the terrarium core that hangs from the ceiling of the terrarium? Well, until now, I've been keeping it topped up with a mixture of Paldean soil and water from the Crystal Pool in Kitakami. And that's how we've been able to stabilize the terrestrial phenomenon on our academy grounds. But the other day, I tried adding crystals I'd collected from the other depths to that mix, and it caused the properties of the core to change. The result? Pokemon shining in rainbow colors have started appearing all over the terrarium, and they have the stellar terra type. Thanks to this, my research into the terrestrial phenomena is shining brighter than ever. Okay. Grants a boost to moves, but only once per move type. After you use a move, no other moves of that same type will get the boost. Oh, so... What's the point, then? 
Okay, in Terra Raid battles, all moves will be boosted without limit. But in regular battling, only one move at a time. Okay, I was about to say, what was the, what is the point then? Never mind. Oh, and there's one last thing. A man in a blue suit was looking for you over by the entrance to the academy. That's all I have to report for now. Thanks for setting aside some time to chat. I'm off to pay a visit to my publisher, so I'll leave you to it. Next time we meet, I'll ask you for a good long look at Terrapagos. Till then. Okay. Somebody at the entrance. Blue suits. Who was in a blue suit? Uh, I don't remember. Oh, okay. Oh, and it might be the terrarium entrance instead of just the entrance here. Hold up. Hold up. No. Who are? Oh, ho, ho, would you look at the cut of your jib. You must be the one everyone's talking about. You're the Paldean exchange student, Rowan. Or my name's... Not Snacksworth? Oh, okay. Yes, indeed. Call me Snacksworth. I do love to see the young students putting some real effort into their self-improvement. Especially the kids who really give their all for the old BBQs. I reward them with snacks. These snacks I make are very special treats, made just to the taste of certain Pokemon. With one of my snacks in hand, you may find yourself running into quite spectacular Pokemon. So come give old snacks worth the latest whenever you've been hard at work on those BBQs. Oh. Now let's see if you've been chipping away at those BBQs or not, Rowan. Heavens to Betsy, you've gone and completed a group quest. I'd say you've earned yourself one of my special snacks, Rowan. Cobalium? A snack made from ingredients favored by the legendary. Oh! Okay. You know Cobalt and I don't. Rightfully rare, that one. Not your run-of-the-mill Pokemon. Speaking of, I do recall this one particular encounter when I was a younger feller. I was on one of my adventures in Paldea when Cobalion just pranced on down from a cliff. I was rough lomax at first when it stopped right before me. Maybe it was just pausing to stare because my face looked so yummy. I wouldn't say that. Anyway, that old Cobalion started to stroll away, so I followed, and it led me to a famed waterfall. I tried to say things, but old Cobalion just dashed off into the bamboo grove Cool as you please. It loves that snack you have there, so you might just have a shot at meeting it too. If you run into old Cobalion, be sure to give it my best. Oh, so he gives you tips on where... He gives you the ability, I think, to find the Pokemon? Oh my god, shut up. Right? Is that what you do? Oh, I can't use it here. Yeah, director's voice. This is not the time or place. Okay. Well, now I'm intrigued on that. Anybody else showing up here? No. Let me just quickly see if there's anybody here at the entrance to the terrarium. And then I'm going to pop over to the bamboo grove waterfall and go see if I can catch that Pokemon. I mean, I also have the one that I need to catch that I screwed up when Madhouse and Mario was helping me that day. Not seeing anybody right here. I don't have a full Pokedex yet for you. I should have a decent amount, though. Nope, I don't. Yeah, I'm gonna heal him up. Heal him up! Oh, yeah, I need to look at Terrapagos' moves, too, by the way, don't I? Need to look him up. Alright, so again, normal type. Uh, right now, he is very split. Very split. More of a special attacker. But... Okay. Double edge. Thanks. Burn, freeze, or paralyze. 
I'm just gonna compare. The power of its crystals, the user bombards and eliminates the target. When used by Terrapagos in its stellar form, this move damages all opposing Pokemon. The user focuses its power, willpower to its head and attacks the target. This may also make the target flinch. Yeah. I think I'm gonna get rid of Headbutt. Just because I would like another move. Another normal move. But I do kind of like having Earth Power and Water Pulse. I do like that. I'm gonna keep that. Uh, since it is a special attacker, though... Is this something I want to... Yeah, I know. Nah, there's probably something I could give it, huh? Just gotta pick something. Uh... Not stones. Oh, is there something that can help with, like, normal type? Probably not. Only once, only once, only once. Yeah, I don't think I really have anything that's... for normal? Uh, huh. Yeah, I think I'll just do my usual thing. Honestly, just give them one of these. It's fine. Okay. Now we're off to check out the Bamboo Grove... Uh... Waterfall. Okay. I didn't mean it. Oh, and then it... <laughs> Whee! I know what I'm doing. I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm kind of surprised that I still have a deli. Oh, I probably still have that deli bird breakout because I haven't uh, connected my Pokemon game to the internet since I last loaded it up during Blissey Raid time. That'd be why. Okay. I almost forgot what Orthworm looked like. Uh. No way. What happened? Why do you suck? Oh, this isn't bamboo. It's not the bamboo. Thought it was over there. Am I just like too far? Not far enough. Oh man, I don't remember where the bamboo actually is. Thought this was it. It is the one over here. See, there's even a bunch of these guys. No waterfall there. a bamboo area, right? Not 
crazy. Maybe I am. I do not think it'd be this one. Yeah, no. Definitely not. Uh... Where is the bamboo in this frickin' place? Cause that's in the base. Well... Maybe it's this area. We'll see. Because I don't remember where the bamboo is now. I remember being in it and running around it, but I don't remember where. Oh, thank God. It, this is it. Oh, I keep hitting the wrong buttons. Uh, I might be trying to start this too soon. I might be trying to start this too soon. Oh god, just let me hit the right button. Please. Because I don't think there's much other choices for waterfall at this point. really remember this music being the music for this area. Oh, maybe I just have to be by the waterfall and use the item? The one thing I did not do. Oh, I guess there's also two, huh? Like I said, I might be on to it too soon. Yep. to be able to do that. I know this is where the one other legendary was that I already have, clearly. Nope. Probably too quick on the draw. Probably. That's alright. Uh... Oh, it's over here. I'm gonna do that every time. Look for it to be exactly in the middle. And it never will be. <laughs> okay. 
We'll talk to that guy a little bit longer to see what else he has to say. I have been. I've completed two group quests. Zek. You know Zekrom? Rightfully rare, that one. Not your run of the mill, yeah. When it... You'd set out from Mesa Goza, thinking you could walk all the way to Artisan from there. You were fine making. I was fine making progress. I was making fine progress. When this great black shadow streaks across the sky to the east, I consumed with curiosity. I was consumed with curiosity, that's for sure, so I climbed real high to catch a better look, and wouldn't you know it, there was Zekrom. I stared up at it like a country lad seeing his first city, and it came down to land right near me. He watched. We watched one another for a time. I couldn't help but bask in how magnificent, magnificent Zekrom is. It loves the snack you have there, so you might just have a shot at meeting it too. Okay, so it might be just like I have to have the right time. Good lord, Rayquaza! That one I know. I do recall this one particular... You were doing a bit of mountain climbing, hauling myself up some mighty steep Paldean cliffs. When I made it up to the top, now that was the kind of sight a man lives for. I looked down over the edge into a sea of white mist, unbroken as far as the eye could see. There was some truly mystical... There was something truly mystical about it. Oh. And what came bursting right out of that dense fog, but old Rayquaza. Like a cork out of a bottle. I nearly fell back down the mountain in shock. It loves that snack you have. I don't think I'm going to have another one. Okay, now he wanted solo quests. Got it. Entei! Would you believe it? I simply ran smack dab into Entei while out adventuring in Paldea. You know that stretch that's dotted with mines and everywhere you look there's another hole? Well, there was Entei popping through those caves like it was having a grand old time. I don't like to be outshone, so I did my best to keep up with the feller. Ooh, what a chase. We ended up all the way at the coast, side by side, as we gazed out over the endless blue. It loves that snack you have there. Okay. At some point, I'm not gonna have done this for you. Kapu! Kapu! Uh-huh. You were adventuring. He, I was venturing off in Paldea when I saw Kapu training. I ambled right up to it and asked, Oh, ho, ho, hard at work training, are you? Why, the two of us got on like a house on fire. We trained together for a time till Kapu seemed to be itching to move on. But it left me a gift. gift. It plucked up a haul of the bamboo sprouts that grow nearby just for me. It loves that snack you have there. Okay. Jesus. Madhouse and Mario got to work while I was still screwing around. Latios! One day I ran smack dab into it, brazen as you please, while I was up in northeast Paldea, you see? We couldn't speak each other's language, but I got the feeling it was telling me to follow it, so I gave chase when Latios flew off, and I ended up climbing these mighty steep cliffs. Next time I looked up, I realized I'd come to a small lake nestled in between some jagged cliffs. It was a secret spot, alright. It loves that snack. I always read that it loves its snack because I just don't catch on. Good lord. Articuno! Is it going to be the real Articuno? Oh no, it's probably going to be the Alolan one. See, I'd found this lovely pond up in the snowy peaks of Paldea and decided to go for a dip, hankering for a bit of cold water swimming. Who does that? When would... When... Would you believe it? Articuno comes swooping down along the nearby waterfall and starts flying about above me, singing away. I was tickled pink I was. Went on merrily singing with Articuno, even as the sun set and the moon rose. Before I knew it, it was morning again. I'm not reading that. I'm not reading it. Jesus. Yeah. The glass tree. I don't. I was off hiking among Paldea's peaks for a bit of fun, mountain climbing being a bit of a hobby. I was trekking up and up those snowy hillsides, and I figured I must have been nearly to the summit when I came across some ruins. 
Perhaps they'd been a house once. The walls still looked sound enough that I thought I could take shelter and have myself a little rest. I had no sooner drawn close for a look than this Pokemon appeared, white as the driven snow. Glassier had been sleeping inside. When it popped its long face out, the fright nearly froze my heart. It loves that snack. Oh, I read it. I read it. Alright, okay. It looks like it's a bit early for you to be getting any of my special snacks. I reckon you could earn one of my special snacks if you did three more quests on your own, or maybe one more group quest. Okay. Uh, no, because I'm not chasing any right now. I mean, I just tried to chase one, and I don't think I entirely got it. We're gonna go to Leap Clipper. I am gonna upgrade a biome. I'm gonna look more at the computer, basically. Huh. Oh, so the art club... Okay, so the baseball club gives you... Uh, new throwing styles. Science club... An item printer? Oh, an item printer. Whoa. Okay, it just messes with my photo thing. Yeah. Art club, we get more looks, so I might be doing the art club first, honestly. Oh, and this is where the... And then the music club, just smart speaker. New species, we look here with the terrarium club. Secret boss of Blueberry Academy. Requester Saffron. The one who summons the greatest number of guest coaches to our fine house of learning using BP will earn the right to challenge Blueberry Academy's beloved secret boss. Okay. Well, I don't know how to change my throwing style. Okay, so I can do it from here, apparently. Thanks a bunch for all the support, Rowan. Ready to be my sounding board? Then let's go! Yep. I have more styles to choose from. Yay. Uh, The Galarian Star. Okay. Let's see. Which ones do we currently have? We should have three, I think. Left-handed, reverent, dainty, smug, elegant, twirling. Uh... I feel like the moment I change this, it's gonna look so weird. Seeing a different style. Let's just really make it weird and do left-handed. Yeah, now it looks weird, because I'm throwing with my left hand. The one without a glove. <laughs> okay. We'll contribute. Um. Hmm. Well, I can only do one biome. Oh, it doesn't give me new looks. It redecorates the. Got it. It redecorates the club room. Okay. Let's do this. Thanks so much for your support. We're ready to fine tune the terrarium's environmental settings. Yes, using the BP that you donated to us today. We'll do the. Oh, Charmander's available in the Savannah biome. Of course he is. Of course he is. Can they be upgraded more than once? No, it looks like they're only upgradable by one time. Uh. Oh, yeah. I want to do the coach. Oh, look at it. My man. My man. 
How do you like having four jobs? <sighs> Hello, I'm here on behalf of the Paldea Region's Pokemon League. It's a pleasure to be doing business with you. I love you, Larry. You're the best, Larry. Uh, no, 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 no. We'll do, we'll do the two coaches at once. Um. Ha. Huh. There we go, so I can get it d written down that I've done at least two of them at once. Ugh, I'm freezing. The AC is way too strong in here. Doesn't matter. And I was about to get very upset if my game just broke. You, calling me all the way out to another region? Is a certain chairwoman rubbing off on you? Actually, don't worry about it. To be honest, I don't mind these little business trips. I know I'm here for work, but I may as well enjoy myself while I'm at it. Speaking of which, I've heard that Unova has two particularly famous dishes. Berry sandwiches and Castellia cones. Which one appeals to you more? I don't know what this is. Oh, I'm going to assume this is like an ice cream cone. I see. I suppose you must have a sweet tooth. Oh, thanks for the input. Once I'm done with my lecture, I'll step out and eat my fill. You have a certain look. A look that says you want to battle me. Oh, this is how you... Uh, sure. I'm technically off the clock now, but fine. Let's have a battle. Larry! I can't wait to get shit on by your star raptor. Look at my man, he's back. And look at my little guy. Yeah, that wasn't gonna ever be very hard hitting. I could use the oinkalon. Okay, it says distorting type matchup. So does that mean then? Huh. I don't know what that means. Like, maybe it means then that... I'm thinking it means that clearly, um... You're gonna break through every time, aren't you? stay in with this Pokemon, but not doing much of anything. Go for it. Of course you snapped out of confusion now. And I'm slow. know what it does when it says it's going to switch that around. Will you have body slam again? Will you? Oh, we're 
back into the brave bird. Oh my god. Fucking brave bird. Maybe I should have just let, uh, Terrapagos die. Probably would have made it a little bit easier. Uh, no, I'll just keep it. It's fine. Oh, you even have a normal Tauros now. That's pretty good. I don't like the fact that you have Stone Edge, my guy. God, Toro sucks. I think Flame Wheel did better. She just stuck with Flame Wheel. I don't want to bring you in just yet. The art bot can do some work. Okay, screw that up. That's boss. Nope, we're good. So is this really just a way to battle people again? More than anything. I don't know why I tried that. Hi, why do you have to have so many earth bitches? Earth moves. He made himself faster. Okay, it didn't kill me. That's good. so much faster than me. All because I got electrified. Okay, now here comes the beast. Yeah, hi, Star Raptor. How you doing? How you doing, buddy? this battle through to the end, unless that means I have to work overtime. Technically, you're always working overtime. You never stop working. Well... There's nothing wrong with plain and simple. Let's keep things normal. I love them. Can I throw my ball like Larry? 
I just love the tie adjustment. Oh, we got the music back because I am technically battling a gym leader. I'm so glad you had close combat. I survived it killed him with one shot oh no oh Larry I still love you man well I've had my fill lots of money not that I particularly need it but lots of money Impressive skills. You just keep getting stronger, don't you? I imagine you worked up a sweat. Here, take these. Three shakers of salty herba mystica. Oh, it's important to replenish your minerals. Yeah, I'm sure it is. The boss contacted me the other day. She said you'd given my name when asked about your favorite gym leader. Hell yes, I did! I really don't understand your choice. Why would you pick an average Joe like me? Maybe you're overworked and it's affecting your judgment. I know a good park where you could go to unwind if that's the case. I hope La Primera isn't giving you too much trouble. Take it from me. You need to stay, say no to her if you don't want to do something. Otherwise, you'll run yourself into the ground. I think the real problem with the Elite Trial is that Hassel is the one after me. Rico or Poppy would hear me just fine, even if I didn't shout. You, never, you don't know that. 